Hey, what's up YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. This week we're doing Blackbird by The Beatles. I'd very much like to dedicate this lesson to my old music teacher, Mrs. Anne Harris, who sadly died at the age of 81. Now she used to teach me for free around her house after school, which was super helpful to me and she was a huge inspiration on me going on to become a musician as a professional. So this lesson is dedicated to her. Blackbird singing in the dead of night Take these broken wings and learn to fly All your life You're only waiting for this moment to arrive Blackbird singing in the dead of night Take these sunken eyes and learn to see All your life You are only waiting for this moment to be free Blackbird fly Blackbird fly into the light of a dark black night Blackbird fly Blackbird fly into the light of a dark black night Blackbird singing in the dead of night Take these broken wings and learn to fly All your life you are only waiting for this moment to arise You are only waiting for this moment to arise You are only waiting for this moment to arise Okay, so let's start with our second finger in the third fret on the bottom E string Okay, and what I'm going to do with my thumb Make sure your thumb is pointing towards the head of the guitar, okay? And then I'm going to use my second finger to pluck the B string. So the bottom E and the B string, which is the second string. And then I'm going to use my first finger to pluck the G string. Now, Paul McCartney does, you know, play this using the thumb and the first finger. I'll show you that as we go on, okay? I'll show you a few different things you can do, but for now, let's just use the second finger on the B string and the thumb, pluck, and then f uh, first finger on the G string there, okay? And remember, you know, try not to pluck out here like this, like pinch, like close the hand in, okay? So that's our first chord, which is G. Okay, you might not recognize it as a G, but this root is G, okay? And then what we're going to do is move the first finger to the second fret, sorry, the first fret on the second string, which is the B string. And we're doing virtually the same picking, except now instead of plucking the E and B, we're going to pluck the A and B. Okay? Try and get things ringing out, okay? So put those two bits together. Then we go to our third chord, which is a B minor. Now our first finger is going to go into the second fret on the A string. And our third finger, or your pinky, whichever one you're more comfortable with, is going to go in the third fret on the B string. And exactly the same picking as last time. A and B together. And hit that G string again, okay? So those three together. going to do 
with that B minor is just keep our fingers in that position and slide the fingers up on the strings until the third finger lands into the 12th fret, okay? Then what we're going to do, we're actually going to move the first finger down a fret to the 10th. So we've got one fret in between, okay? And we're going to pluck exactly the same strings again, A, B together, and then hit the G string. Okay? So, all together. Okay, now, like I said, if you're not comfortable with the third finger there, you can use the pinky. So what we do then, we hold on this section. And we kind of run that four times. So the picking, what I'm doing there, I'll show you what how I'm going to teach you this, okay? Because it's kind of a simplified way and it's nice and clean, all right? So A and B together. Then with the thumb, you're going to hit that A string again. Okay, so it's pluck. Then with the set first finger, I'm plucking the G. All right, so. And then we're just going to put B, G on the end. So pluck, A, G, B, G. Or if you're not, you know, super familiar with the string names, it's... Um, Five and two together, pluck, five, three, two, three, pluck, five, three, two, three, pluck, five, three, two, three. So Paul McCartney actually just uses his thumb and his first finger, and he kind of does this little, he does a little strum here. Okay, now there's plenty of footage to watch him play it live online, I think. There's some footage Abbey Road, there's some footage Glastonbury, so you can you can see his techniques he's using. But if you listen to the original record, it slightly differs and his techniques slightly change in every video, okay? So I've seen lots of YouTube videos as, as well with other people using different techniques. This this kind of technique here, where you can hear the 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 nail on the back of your first finger. This kind of thing. Add in a rhythm tap. Where it's got a little bit of a swing to it. Okay, so by all means, go away and and have a look at other videos and see if you can work out the more comfortable picking technique for you. But I'm just going to teach you. Okay, like I said, it's not quite what he does, but you'll get the desired effect. Okay, and I've just, this is the version from, I guess, the, the White Album, okay? Because there's a couple of different versions out there as well. So that happens four times. So it's G, A, B, G, two, Three, four. Then it starts in the first verse, okay? Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Okay, so that just happens twice there. Then we go. So what we're doing there, we're staying on those same strings, except now we're going down to the third fret, and with the pinky of I'm on the B string in the 5th fret, okay? So A string, 1st finger, B string, pinky. So I just plucked that one, so 5 and 2, or A and B. Always hitting the G. And then what you're going to do, you're going to put your 2nd finger down in the 4th fret, get rid of your pinky, and then put your 1st finger into the 3rd fret on the top E, on string 1. So on that next chord, the so the first chord is A and B together, hit the G string, put your first, second finger down, then first finger on the third fret, top E, then pluck the top E and the fifth string, 
Make sure you hit that G again. And then all we do is repeat that positioning, except we start on the fifth fret. Okay, and second finger down. Okay, so we can call this C. Then we can say C sharp. Then we can go D and D sharp. So I'm just looking at this note here and you'll see it's climbing chromatically. So therefore the next note is going to be E. But then that's going to be an E minor. So let's go from there. Second finger down. Jump this. If you're having trouble finding it, put your first finger next to your second finger. Okay? Second finger down. Then we want to go again to this next dot, this next fret. And then we're going to play a minor shape, just like we did earlier with the B, except now we're on the seventh fret. Third finger is on the eighth fret on the B. And then we do this same, that same little rhythm we did in the intro. Let's do the whole thing. Okay, and then our first finger just goes down one fret to the sixth fret and we do the same picking. Then both of our fingers, the first and the third, come down over the dots, okay? So the fifth fret and the seventh fret. And you just do that once. Let's do the whole thing. Okay, then what I'm looking for now, my second finger wants to go in the fourth fret. So I'm going to jump my first finger with my second and land in the fourth fret. And then my first finger is going to go back again on the top E in the third fret. So that's back to our C sharp. Okay, let's do that. Then back to C. And you see I do that little rhythm again. And now, you know, if you've got your pinky there, then you can put your third finger from the B, on the B string into the fourth fret. My first finger doesn't move, so we go from C, then to C minor. Whole thing. minor, move the whole thing, whole shape down one, that's B minor, and then my second finger goes down on the B string at the second fret, sorry, okay, same strings. Now the first finger then comes down into the first fret on the B string, except my root changes is the only time it happens in the song. Instead of plucking the A string, now we're going to pluck the D string. Okay, so that's D, D, B, sorry. D and B together, D, G, B, G. Only time it happens and then we finish where we started. So let's do the entire thing from the very beginning. Okay, here we go. That's one, 
two, three, and it starts the verse. Blackbird sing in the dead of night. Now it goes twice. Now we start our pattern. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. moment so hit the D string there moment to arrive or arise I guess so that's the first verse and then there's a little tail on that okay and it just goes so all the tail is we go back to C which is the third fret on the first finger and the fifth fret on the pinky we do that once then we go to B minor we do it once we didn't say what that was did we but it's A A minor and So when we come down, and then the tail, then it starts again, right? So. got the chorus. The chorus goes and it repeats. But the end changes. Okay, so the chorus is going to be, you know, back bird fly. So that starts on the eighth fret. And we've got this fret in between, which means it's going to be a major. So the 8th fret and the 10th fret, okay, on the A string and B. So just happens one. Then you go down one fret with the first finger, two frets with the pinky or the third. So now we're playing E. This note is E and then minor. So we've gone from F major to E minor. Okay, to the 7th fret and the 8th fret on the third finger okay so then we're going to D minor okay so that's the fifth fret on the first finger on the A string and the sixth fret on the third finger I've got it sometimes I play it with the pinky on the B string okay so and we're down to this C again third fret and fifth fret on the A and B. Then it goes down to B flat. And it does the little rhythm there, okay? So B flat is just the first fret on the A string and the third fret on the B. Let's do that. So you see there's a little bit of rhythm on the B flat and then it goes back up to C and the rhythm happens there as well so if I do the whole thing so that's the first round of the chorus the second round starts the same so 
when you get to that B flat and do the rhythm, okay, which is the first fret and the third, you go down one to that A, okay, second finger in the second fret, or, you know, I added the third then, second finger, second fret, and do the rhythm, then the first finger, first fret, sorry, and then hitting the D again, remember? And then G. So I'll do the first round and the second. So first round, B flat, back up to C. Second round, B flat, A, swap the root to D, okay, on the thumb, rhythm and G. dog going crazy in the background there. Um, hopefully he hasn't killed anyone. So after Paul McCartney hits the, the kind of middle of the song and he hangs on that and then you hear the blackbirds tweeting on the original recording and when he comes back in There's something slightly different there before he goes into the last verse, okay? Last verse, rather. So what he does, he does the G, B minor, sorry, G, A minor, B minor, C, back down to B minor, A, and then on the D, he does the full little rhythm. So it sounds like this. And again, and he goes straight in, blackbird singing in the dead of night, and he plays the last verse, okay? So the only other section you really need to listen out for is after the last uh, chorus, I guess. And that last phrasing just repeats from the C, okay? From the third fret with the first string, uh, fifth string and the pinky on the fifth fret on the B. It happens three times. So all I'm doing there, C, one time, B minor, one time, and then the A, put the rhythm on it, and then the A minor, well that's actually, it's not A minor, it's D isn't it, I keep on, I've said that throughout the whole video. Okay. So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson, please don't forget, give me the thumbs up, subscribe, Check out the links below and I'll see you again the same time next week.